All right, what's going on guys? Uh, today, I just have a small tutorial for you guys on how to set up your first ice to fishing tilt. I have this polar tip up right here and it's been through a lot of stuff. Um, got some duct tape right here. Stuff I used to call this hot tilt, but try to bring this guy back to life, put some new line on it and stuff. And I'll just show you guys how to do that. So stay tuned. All right, for the main like necessities of what you need, um, what I think you need, uh, you're gonna need the tilt, of course. Um, buttons to mark your placement of where, of, of how far the fish has moved if the flag actually goes off. Um, so you got buttons, uh, just got some 10 pound fluorocarbon uh, for, for the leader. Uh, I usually do like a three foot leader. I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, then you have a whole bunch of pieces of like Velcro right here. I just chose black just to put it on the underneath of here. Uh, so you can put the hook so it's not, you don't put it back onto the line. So it just ruins the line. You don't want to do that. So, uh, I just put the, cut a little piece of Velcro right underneath here. And then you just put the hook onto that. So it just stays on there. So you just put it on both sides. And then I just got some size two uh what is this uh eagle claw laser sharp uh just some kind of regular just like kind of j hook uh hooks and then um got those and then you need some barrel swivels to attach the main line to the leader and then i just have the main line which I, you should use like probably if you're going for like bass or so, I'd say 20 to 30 pound line. Uh, but this is 50 pounds. So this is more for like pike and stuff, but this is a uh, uncle max ice fishing line. Uh, it's a hundred percent day ground polyester and it's, there's 450 feet of it. So I'm just going to use that for today's video. All right. So right now I'm just going to take the main fishing line and I'm going to take my, um, uh, take my tilt and going to take this apart so i'm just going to take this i'm going to tie it around here just like that and just like you're like tying your line on to like your spinning reel or uh or your bait caster so i'm just going to tie it on here just do just a regular over under knot and then make sure to cut the extra tag tag end line and the end of it so not a good knife to use then we're just gonna start looping it around so yeah you just put it back into this little loop right here and then you can just freely spin it from here and then it'll just keep going in uh that kind of motion all around the reel and then You don't want to overfill it because then the line will just catch onto the actual reel and it'll just make it a big mess. Okay, that looks fairly even, so now let's go on to the next step. I'm going to take my main line right here and I'm just going to take one of these barrel swivels. I'm going to tie one of the barrel swivels onto the main line so that I can put my leader onto the other side of it. You're going to do, uh, I like to do an improved clinch knot. You can do whatever knot you want. You can do snell knots or whatever, but I just think improved clinch, clinch knot is the best knot to do. I'm just gonna squeeze and tie it onto there. It should be all good. It's or not. Now you're gonna take the some of this uh, 10 pound Berkeley Vanish. Uh, you could use any other line. It just I I use this for. Uh, for my leader, I need to do like three, a three foot leader. Um, so we're going to take this, uh, estimate it out to be about three feet or so. Uh, that, sh that should be good. That's a big leader. So you're going to do the same thing on the other side of this. Just going to tie it on. I use I tie it on as an improved clinch knot. That's all you got to do. You got both ends, you got the 
main barrel swivel or in the middle and you got the main tag line right here and then you got the 10 pound leader on the other side which the hook is going to go on the leader now you're going to take the the hook that i have uh, it's like a regular curved j hook and it's got a couple little spikes in the back of it but you're going to take the tag end of your leader line and you're just going to tie another improved clinch knot you can tie a snell knot because it is stronger but for this video, I'm just going to tie an improved clinch knot onto here. I like to use the color red because I think it imitates a good color of other fish because bass could, because I mainly go after bass, but bass could be looking at this hook thinking it's a perch or whatever since perch have more brighter colors. But I think just on the shiner with uh, for, the, for the live bait of this, I think it just imitates a good representation of a perch. So that's why I use the red hooks. So for the next step after you get the hook on, uh, I like to put a split shot weight on it onto the tag tagline of the um, the leader, and it's actually really important where you put the split shot weight onto here because if you put it too far down below on the the hook, then it's just gonna the the shiner is just gonna sink to the bottom and he's not gonna be able to actually move around a lot more, but he just he just gonna get really weak and tired, and then you're gonna have to change your shiners, which you don't really want to do because you want to save your shiners. You should put it like more towards the middle of your leader, like I don't know, like right here. I'm gonna put it like right here because if it's too far up, then the shiner is gonna move around a lot more into the weeds and stuff, um, and you don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna put it like right in the middle so it just stays balanced. Um, and you just put it right here. So you just squeeze it right onto there like that. Okay, well, I actually just found out that uh, I missed a really important step to this whole thing, and which is putting a button on it. And so I just cut off the leader, uh, cut off the main line to the barrel swivel. And I'm just going to put this button right through here onto this main uh, Dacron line. Like that and I'm just gonna go back through again just make sure it's a little tight just like that it's exactly what I want to do I think you just let that go freely um, make sure make sure it's a little tight on the line right here just like go in and out a little more uh, that should be good and now I'm just gonna tie back on the leader line right here okay so this part is optional uh what i think is optional um you can take these two things of velcro that i just got at walmart um you can just peel one of them right here i'm just gonna peel that off right in the back and i'm just gonna right where it fits i'm just gonna stick it right there right onto there just like that you guys can see that stick it on right like that your hook right into there just like that and you put the other velcro piece right on top so it holds your hook nicely just like that so this is the way that i do my ice fishing tilts uh and yeah hope you guys enjoyed uh leave a like if you did enjoy it and subscribe thank you here we got Buck. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> How many inches? Is it still really, really like, no, like barely any inches? The death of Buck. Four PPT Who knows could be a pick could be anything Oh I care
before we walk across this. Got a flag up in the corner. Oh, she's spinning. Oh yeah. Please be a bass. Going that way. Oh yeah. Whoa! Huge bass! Nice. Stuck in his throat a little bit. There we go. Nice. There we go. That's a nice guy, dude. What did you guess? Three. Enjoy yourself, buddy. Hope you dine. There you go, buddy. There he goes. Let's go.